In 2020, Blizzard released the Ashes of Outland expansion and with it the Demon Hunter class. But as you may know, Hearthstone has existed since 2014, so that means there's been a lot of expansions that Demon Hunter wasn't present for. 13 expansions to be specific. But if you ever wanted to see what it'd be like if Demon Hunter had cards to match those expansions, well then you've come to the right place. Last time we looked at Demon Hunter cards for Goblins vs Gnomes, and this time we're gonna see what Demon Hunter could look like in the Grand Tournament. The Grand Tournament told the story of the Argent Crusade hosting a massive competition to find all the greatest champions of Azeroth in preparation for a battle with the Scourge. And now it's time for Demon Hunter to step forth and show what they got. But before we look at all the cards I've made, let's quickly go over the rules I set up for this project. The idea is that these cards would release to standard Hearthstone today using modern keywords. In fact, the entire Grand Tournament expansion would get re-released to standard alongside these cards. And I've also made a mini set for the Grand Tournament that would also get released to standard alongside these cards too. You can find a link for that mini set at the end of the video. Now let's look at the cards I've made, starting with the expansion single legendary. Kethiel Sunlands. My blades are ready. Kethiel is a 3 mana 4 3 legendary minion, and when you play him, he lets you discover a weapon and then a demon of the same cost as the weapon, and he will then seal the demon within the weapon. This means that you will only get the weapon in hand, but once you use up all its durability, the demon will be summoned to the battlefield. This package also introduces both a weapon and a demon of the same cost that is ideal to summon through Kethiel. Now, the cards in the Grand Tournament were pretty random, with no real overarching themes for each class. And last time, my cards were criticized for having too much synergy, so the interplay between Kethiel and these two cards will pretty much be all the synergy this package has. And that's why these cards are 3 mana instead of 4 mana, which would be more ideal on curve after playing Kethiel. The Grand Tournament introduced the Inspire keyword, which if you forgot is a bonus every time you use your hero power. Each class got an Inspire card in the expansion, so of course Demon Hunter would also get one. Use the cannons to launch yourself onto him! Bloodsill Champion is a 2 mana 2 3 pirate, with Inspire gain attack equal to the attack of your hero. This means as a baseline he will gain plus 1 attack anytime you use your hero power, but if your hero has any attack already before using your hero power, Bloodsill Champion will also gain that much extra attack. Inspire is really ideal to use for Demon Hunter since their hero power only costs 1, which is why Demon Hunter is also getting this card in the set. Valiant's Ring is a 2 mana location with 2 durability that will draw a minion. Then if the minion has the Inspire keyword, Valiant's Ring will also set the cost of your next hero power to zero. Due to the random nature of these cards, I also imagine Demon Hunter would get some more generic cards, such as Undercity Exile and Fell Funnel. But the Grand Tournament also introduced the Joust mechanic. If you forgot, this mechanic would reveal a minion from each deck, and if yours costs more, you would gain a bonus. Of course, Demon Hunter would also get a Joust card. Recipe to success. This 3 mana shadow spell will draw 2 cards and then Joust. And if you win, you get to draw another card. Like all Joust spells, the Jousting would trigger first. So if you win, you then draw 3 cards, but if not, you only draw 2. The last card I made is an epic minion. Rampant Doomlord. <laughs> Rampant Doomlord is a 7 mana 6 11 demon, and when you play him, he will attack random enemy minions until something dies. What this means is he will continue attacking minions until any minion on the battlefield dies. So, say if you were to attack an enemy minion with Frenzy and it kills one of your own minions as a result, the Rampant Doomlord would end its rampage and stop attacking enemy minions. Well, that's actually all I had for you today. Let me know if you thought the cards felt as random as the actual cards in the Grand Tournament. Thanks for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the episode and subscribe to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. Next week will probably be the next episode of Minister Miracles, but then after that it's time to delve back into Goblins vs Gnomes, but for Death Knight. Oh and here's a link to my Grand Tournament miniset. See ya!